I was born and raised a city kid. Every time I had an opportunity to come to the country to see people and do things with people, that's what I did. And eventually it grew into working for some individuals and learning more about agriculture. And as we grew with that, we got an opportunity to rent some land and it all started out that way. We started renting some and then we had an opportunity to put a place together and so that's how this started. They said he wasn't going to be able to make it work, but he was very resilient. He had uh, lots of patience and was very open-minded. In South Central Stanley County, kind of an arid type climate, but we've learned to live with it. I've been good friends with David since so middle school probably, so we go back a long ways since way before Levi was even born. I got, got a chance to farm on my own when I was 21. I had a little bit of a head start on David. We were always talking and comparing notes. About the early 89 or 90, somewhere in there, I got to know Dwayne Beck and uh, started no-tilling the next year. And then I, right away I started working on David. Levi was probably about nine or 10 at that time. He didn't have any bad habits. So he just got right into it and, and he didn't have to make all those mistakes that the rest of us made. And he picked it up real quickly. And when he got going on his own, he, he just really went to town with all this soil health stuff and this grazing deal. And, and I had a little input, but not a lot, and, and, but in the meantime, he's, Levi's passed me up big time. We run about 2,300 acres of farm ground, about 3,000 acres of grass. Um, we have a very diverse crop rotation, um, do rotational grazing, um, have diversity in our animals. We've also turn some farm ground back into grass. On the grass, we've uh, put it into our rotational grazing and it's really been a good thing for us as far as getting more area to put livestock onto the ground. I think to fix the system, we have to put perennials back in the operation and you'll see the salinity and whatever in places around the state. Uh, that comes from not really having the water cycle fixed and it takes these perennial grasses that have roots that go very, very deep to cycle those nutrients back to the surface. Now if we take the forage off when we put it back into grassland and haul it somewhere or even worse sell it, then the nutrients go away. So. What we need to do is bring them to the surface and then do like Levi is doing. He has the grazing operation going on with different species. Um, quite a bit of cows, like, that would be like the buffalo. And then you have the goats and those kind of animals being more like the deer and, and the antelope. So you're mimicking and he's got the chickens, which are more like the prairie chicken and grouse and those kind of things. So you, you kind of get that diversity mixed in there. As long as we're providing uh, enough residual uh, grass cover, uh, residual solar panel to maintain uh, that plant's photosynthesis and uh, maintain the root health. Actually grazing livestock, uh, you know, a lot of times they promote tillering, it promotes more grassland production as long as it's managed well. And on this ranch, uh, we can say that it is managed well. This is what works in Stanley County. And as you can see, Levi's been trying a lot of different things and really had an open mind and had a lot of good support from his wife. And I've been there to try to support him. Just like it takes a family, it takes a system to make things work. And that's what we've really found, you know, and every day is a new change, a new challenge. We're trying to learn to have a better system and to have something there that we can pass forward to the next generation. 
it's a learning experience every day and, and it's been very rewarding to see what it's done not only for my soil but also for our family.